Okay, so here I've in successfully installed the wheel train. And you can see I move the barrel spring. The other wheels are going to spin real quick. That sure is nifty. All right, I better stop it or I'm going to break it. This part here is called the barrel spring. It's what holds all the power reserve and lets the watch run for several hours. And right now, it's settled in the bottom on the plate, and I need to put what's called the bridge to hold the other side. It holds in place with three screws. First, I'm going to get it aligned just right. So, my goal here is to get this little thing right there, the arbor, through that little hole. And it should just sort of like click into place. How it goes about doing that, I have no idea. There it goes. All right, for a sense of scale, there's my pinky. These are pretty small screws. Pick that bad boy up, drop it in there. And try to get it lined up. There we go. I'm gonna shoot for 60 millimeter screwdriver. That's right. That's too small. 80 millimeter screwdriver. You can see the edges of these get really messed up, so I have a little sharpening stone. That's a little bit better. Right. Now, I need to install what's called click assembly. So ah hair. What is that? That's like a puppy eyelash or something. Get out of there. little device to blow away the lint. Um, so in here is the click, and the click is what's used when you're ratcheting up the wheel. To when you go past it, 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 uh, it holds the tension for the arbor. There it is. So this is not free to rotate, it should be. Okay. That's the click. Now I know because I broke a piece similar to this earlier, you gotta be super careful in applying tension in this thing. I feel like this bad boy, oh, I bet if I scoot this over like that, it'll make room for me to put this in without it being under tension. Yes. Yes. Correct. There it is. There it is. So see the click is now in one of the gear teeth. That's seated on the arbor. 
All right, I just finished putting in the uh, pallet lever and the balance wheel. The balance wheel is the thing that actually keeps the timing on a watch. You can see as I twist it, I, it's really tough to get everything aligned just right. As, you, as this goes back and forth, that that's um, probably most similar to what people think of as a pendulum. And this little thing goes over time, will swing back and forth a bunch. You can see as it rotates like that, underneath there's this other little gear down here. And there's these two little purple levers right underneath that whole assembly, hard to see. And those are the pallet lever and that should be sliding back and forth. Those should go back and forth, engaging and releasing that little gear, the funny shaped gear underneath it, which is called the escapement. And it's working. They're going back and forth. Looks like everything lined up. Now I just got to put the, there's like a little shock absorber piece that keeps it from um, getting out of whack, getting out of time when, when, when there's impacts. You can see the spring of that. It's this little like yellowish piece right there in the very middle there. You can only see half of it because the other half broke off when I was um, taking these parts out, so I had to order a new one. So I have to install that piece. And then we'll be all set, be able to test it. All right, here are here's the broken spring that I'm replacing. Here's the here's the solid one. By way of comparison, that's my pinky, right there. These are very large or very small, rather. And here we go. All right, it took me almost two hours. I finally got the spring in. It is this right here. You can see it around that little piece of purple. Purple is called the jewel. And this spring is holding it in place. The moment of truth. I have not yet wound it to see if all the gears work. We'll see. Fail. <laughs> That's a whole lot of nothing. Oh, come on, little buddy. What's wrong? Oh, you know what? I think I had the, I think the holder itself had it bound. All right. And there it is. Bounce wheel going back and forth. Escarpment. Moving at a steady pace. Unbelievable. It's the middle, little mic right in the middle. That's driving the center post. The center piece of the center post. And that's turning once a minute. And then if you want to adjust it to be faster or slower, there's two ways to do it. The fine adjustment is this little lever right here. What that does is it changes the amplitude, which is the amount that this little spring is swinging back and forth. And if it takes longer to swing back and forth, then you slow down the clock. If it takes a shorter period, if it's, if it's going a shorter distance, it speeds up the clock. And so you can do that by just adjusting this little, this little arrow right there. You need a stronger adjustment. There's a peg that attaches that attaches the wheel to that spring. It's this little green one right here. And you can actually unclamp that and reclamp the spring at a different point to change the amplitude. I'm really happy that all of these little these things are called pivots and they're the, the little metal peg is called the pivot and then the um the place where the axle sits is called the jewel and you can see there's a bunch of them and every one of them has a little gear in it and all of them are actually rotating correctly which was not entirely a given and it looks like as far as I can tell the rotation is happening at the center I didn't crack any of these jewels as I was putting it back together 
This one, this one you can really see very well rotating. So there it is. Now I just got to attach the, uh, put it in the case, attach the face and the hands. We should be all set.